Life and business is like the changing seasons. You cannot change the seasons, but you can change yourself. If you are experiencing an emotional winter in life currently, you might not know what to do with your life. You might feel lonely, purposeless, depressed. You have a fear of what is coming next in life. And maybe you simply feel like you're in a rut and you're running in circles. Welcome to the emotional winter. Generally, don't expect constant growth in your life. It's totally normal that there's not constant motivation all the time. It's silly to expect that. Be like Chinese bamboo who's growing for years under the ground and then within a couple of weeks it's growing very fast. This is just showing you that growth is not steady. That's the way it is. Embrace, embrace this beautiful winter that is here. Maybe it's not fun all the time, but there are very important lessons that can be learned. And this is what the winter is about. Probably a chapter came to an end. And not only probably, actually very certainly, because before winter, there's always autumn, summer, spring. So look back in life. What happened the last months and years? Maybe you finished school. Maybe you're just out of a relationship. Or maybe you just don't have any direction because some chapter naturally came to an end. Maybe you sold your business and you don't know what is next. That's totally normal. So look back, what are the lessons learned? Face your inner demons in those periods. That's very important. Take time off. Go on a vacation, go for a walk, get inspired, do something new in life, do something different that you haven't done before because change is coming and you will start another chapter at some point, but that will be totally different from what you had before in life. Do some research of what is coming next. Do some research about some things, some ideas you have. Realign with your values and work on yourself, bust some limiting beliefs. You know, maybe you're experiencing this emotional winter, you don't know what is next, but you kind of also think, oh, maybe I'm starting a YouTube channel at some point. Maybe I'm leaving my parents' place. Maybe I'm really getting on this journey of looking for a girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever it is. You have to bust some limiting beliefs you have about yourself and what you can do. Only if you get into that and face your inner demons and you learn some lessons, only then you can transition to spring. Now, in winter, it's important that you're not getting distracted. You're not blaming others. Do the inner work. Don't expect you to generate any output these weeks, months, sometimes even years, who knows? or at least not so much output as you would like to. And really look inwards, but also get inspired by outer things and other people. And naturally this winter, since thousands of years already, is coming to an end at some point, it will. And when winter is coming to an end, when you start to have a blur vision about life, a blur idea what your ne next chapter in life could be about, and you start to feel a little bit inspired. Maybe you cut a relationship, maybe you decided to start a new business or you're moving to a new country and then the transition is happening and you're moving to spring. So spring is about starting a new adventure, starting a new journey. After going through winter, which often feels like aimlessly drifting around, you finally get a vision and a purpose that is becoming clearer and it's requiring action. So for example, you want to get into shape. So you actually got to exercise. You actually got to do the research about how to eat, what is the right nutrition, how to exercise and actually eat clean. Or maybe you want to start a family or you realize you want to now get a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Whatever it is, watch out that you don't judge the day by what you reap, but by what you sow. So in spring, this is a period where you simply put in effort. If you start a business, don't expect the first months that a lot of revenue is coming in. This is not what spring is about. Spring is about putting in the effort, 
putting in the money and really just sow the seeds so at another phase in life you can reap them. So stay focused. Build the right habits, build the right routines. Giving up in this phase is easy. So the question is also, did you bust your limiting beliefs? Did you do your homework in winter? Did you face your inner demons and now you're actually ready and willing to put in the effort? Personally, I really like spring because it's refreshing compared to winter. You suddenly have something to look forward. So embrace it, enjoy it, but focus on the work and build the right habits and actually put in the effort and the action. And in summer, you're at the peak of your adventure. It feels good, it feels exciting, you finally see results and it feels like you actually made it. So you're in the zone, you're at the peak of your performance really. And that tangibly means, for example, you finally got a higher salary or you figured out a niche of your business and you make good amount of money consistently or you're in a relationship and it feels amazing. It's like surfing, you, you waited for the wave, you prepared, you tried hard and finally you caught a wave. Finally, you're actually surfing. And that's amazing, that's beautiful. Summer is full of love, it feels so good. Looking backwards, you're so grateful that in winter you actually sticked around and actually kept looking for a purpose. And in spring you actually kept putting in the effort. I know nothing is perfect and you struggled, but now you're here and that's thanks to you. That's great. Enjoy it. And also, take care of a couple of things. Here are things to watch out. The first part is that you want to keep going. You don't want to get lazy. You don't want to get cocky. Protect your dreams. There are a lot of people, as soon as they see a little bit of results, they start relaxing. They think, oh great, now I made it, now it's cool. Now the results just keep going like that. No, you need to keep putting in the effort. I know surfing looks effortless, but if you look closer, people still really put in the effort to ensure they're staying on the wave, right? It's dynamic. You need to ensure to actually adjust and stay on the wave. Very important. So protect your dreams, keep working, but keep the balance. Don't overwork yourself. Don't get addicted to success because we all know, I don't care how big the wave is, sooner or later the beach will come around and sooner or later the wave will come to an end and sooner or later summer will turn into autumn. So emotionally prepare yourself already for that. Doesn't mean that everything is going to crush, that the relationship is going to crush sooner or later, but there will be a change, a new chapter, a new season sooner or later. So don't expect this steady growth just now because it's going good. It's not going to be like that all the time. Because if you expect that there will be a lot of pain, there will be a lot of, yeah, overworking yourself or unmet expectations and a lot of pain and suffering. You don't want to have that. So enjoy it. Keep up the good work. And also be ready for the next season, which is autumn. Now, you had success, but autumn is coming around and it's time to change. Maybe you're not so passionate about your business anymore and you notice some change needs to happen sooner or later, or you're in a relationship and you notice you and your partner evolved into different directions, change needs to happen, or you're about to finish college and everything was fine, but now you're wrapping it up and there is an end coming soon, the chapter will end soon and you're thinking what to do, what is next, but the next season is coming and you feel that. Now again, don't expect steady growth. It's time to change now. That's necessary, it's healthy, it's normal. Maybe you make a little less money or you have to embrace this uncertainty, that's part of it. You just gotta remember and watch out for the following. You don't want to cling to summer. Let go of it. Let go of your job, let go of your relationship. Or maybe the relationship remains, but you notice the first eight months you were so much in love, this heightened excitement and dopamine rush. This is coming to an end. And the love is getting more deeper. You put the relationship on a next level. And you gotta let go of this expectation that everything will be like super exciting, such as in the, in the first couple of months. Let go of it. It's time for something new. Maybe a new diet, a new job, whatever. So change. And don't be comfortable. 
sticking around in summer, even though you notice it is coming to an end. But acknowledge how far you've come, right? Like you went through winter, you went through spring, summer. You know, there's a lot of work involved, a lot of uncertainty, and you did it and you came so far. Acknowledge that. But also look into the future and face the uncertainty. It's okay to face uncertainty. That's life. There will be always uncertainty. You will have never figured it out. You know, after summer is always coming in autumn. And that's, that's okay. Embrace that. Be okay with that. Now, this concept of the, season, the seasons of life, um, it's important that you don't look at it in an all or nothing principle. You know, maybe your business is just going really good. You're in summer, but your relationship is maybe suddenly in the winter. Maybe this particular friendship with this one person is turning into a winter or a spring or a summer. You know, there's so many seasons that you experience simultaneously. So reflect on that. And also while reflecting on that, if you notice, I'm for example in winter, I'm stuck, I don't know what to do with my life, I gotta figure something out, who I am, what are my next goals. Or you're in spring and you notice, hey, am I well equipped enough? Did I build the right habits? I know what to do, but I'm not getting stuff done. Or maybe you're in summer, but you work so hard the, the last months, last years, that you want to deal with your stress better. Anything around that self-management, dealing with yourself and your own emotions, your own behavior. If you feel like you need some help, what we could do is we could hop on a one-on-one -on -one conversation. There's a link in the description below and we can just have a call. Just talk about where you're at, where am I at, can I help you, how can I help you? And then we can talk about working together and supporting and uh, going through the season of your life and put your life on the next level. All right, now leave a comment below. Let us know where you're at right now. What are the steps that you want to take, right? It's easy to watch this video and think, oh, cool, cool idea, the seasons of life. But what does that mean for you? What do you need to do more? What do you need to do less? What is the next step in your life? Let us know and I will see you in the next video.